Haley Rallery versus Stephanie Calderon. Calderon in the red and the blue tights. Calderon showing great composure behind that jab. You know Lowry can hit hard. That's one, that's one thing I definitely noticed about her watching a little bit of tape is that she can bang. Looking for those knees early is Haley. Keeping her head in that same spot. You know, if, if I was... Uh, She should keep snapping that jab out. Ailey's keeping her head in that same spot. Oh, and there it is again. She was pawning that jab and found it overhand behind it. Yeah, Lowry takes that one flush, but she's continuing to put up the volume against Calderon. Calderon looking for quality over quantity, it looks like. And sometimes, like, that is the smarter way to sometimes start a fight, but sometimes can also be what makes it kind of get stuck in your back a little bit. My goodness! Haley Lowry is hurt. Stephanie Calderon lands a big shot. As you just called it quality over quantity. We can see one of the commissioner's eyes across the table is still, her eyes are still so wide and just like Haley's, but uh, Calderon is really timing that tight overhand, man. You cannot let Lowry recover. You gotta put the pressure on big if you're Calderon right here. Now, this is what I was saying earlier. Haley has to move her head away from that jab. Look, Calderon is seeing that now when that jab touches, that right hand knows where to be at. You know, one thing I'm very privy on is making sure that your jab can help you find everything you need to behind it. So Calderon is landing that jab, and it's giving her all that feedback of like, all right, it's not very hard to find this shot. So if Haley keeps giving her that well to go to, she's going to keep going to that well. Lowry has recovered well from that big shot. Not enough to get the standing eight count from Steven Fontanibius, but definitely, oh wow. I mean, she's very bouncy on that rear foot. And, and that's what I meant by like that American kickboxing kick Dutch style. Where, you know, we're seeing that Calderon all around is way, way more of that Dutch Ben style all the way through. And that's what I was talking about. Like, look for some fun stuff on the outside, especially from Haley Lowry. Like that two touch face kick right there, that was great timing. She needs to do way more of that. Haley needs to pull back from the hand fight and make it a kick fight against Calderon. As we saw early on, Haley even landed a very clean kick along Calderon's guard early on. Haley needs to make this a kick fight. She needs to pull away from that boxing match and make and it the a clinch. clinch. And that clinch. Now, when it's a K-1 fight, the clinch isn't the focus, so that's why you need to be comfortable with firing knees around the same range and fire like body shots and leg kicks. Make it a part of your combination in front, but don't worry about that clinch too much. Haley, keeping your head up in that clinch. I see Calderon on the, on the creep, looking for that big overhand again. She's looking to sneak inside and throw it and right now. Like I just said, Haley needed to get back to that kick fight. That was an impressive kick combination. Calderon had a hard time working back on her. Calderon is so forward heavy though. Forward, forward, forward. Yeah, she wants to stay right in Haley's face. Very impressive kick that you give for Haley. Great work on the outside from Haley this round. This is where Haley needs to keep that fight. Calderon looking for that right hand again. Haley doing the right thing of interrupting the, the punch and the kicks. Whatever Lamont told her between rounds was the right thing. Oh, that front kick up the middle. Great front kick up the middle by the fighting Quaker. She's circling really well. You can tell that's what her Instagram handle is. Uh, you know, you can tell Calderon is really trying to corral her in that corner. And Haley's doing a great job of showing some ringsmanship, fighting her way out of there, and also turning the tie back on Calderon now. Haley's doing a great job of finding her punches behind her kicks. Like, Haley's done a good job of finding knees as well. But man, she needs to keep in that outside kick fight. Calderon is really dead set on finding that jab right hand again. All right? Like, Haley is negating the punch fight with the kick fight. People, it is kickboxing, not boxing day kick. 
for the spinning back kick there. Comes up short, but lands a clean straight. There's another front kick right up top. Front kick to the chin right there. Very sneaky kicks from Haley Lowry. Ooh, that big right hand, man. Like, when you see that person's body fold a little bit, that means that punch found its place. People have to be cautious. A couple tight falls in that spot can be an early night. Very obvious to me that Calderon has some really good power on her punches for someone her size. And, and here's the thing, when you're a young fighter and you find those shots early on, you sometimes go back to that too much. Where Haley is fighting an entirely different fight than the first round. Calderon is trying to repeat the first round. Haley's saying, no, I'm trying to make it my fight now. And that's exactly what she did. So spot on cornering and coaching from Lamont at a top level. I think Lowry took that second round. We could be very well looking at 1-1 one, one here going into the third, Trevor. What do you think? 100%. I see it's even going into the third. factor here has been the adjustment of game plan from Haley Lowry. She really has turned things on a dime here in the next two rounds. She's really adjusted to the strategy, and we've not seen that same level of adjustment from Calderon. Yeah, Calderon is going right back to finding the hands. Look, it's a kickboxing match, not a boxing match. But great, great recovery from Haley. Calderon still finding those heavy jabs in the right hand. Yeah, Calderon's clearly the kind of person who can finish you even this late in the fight, so we know what she's looking for. It's just a matter of Will Haley's you know, strategy. Will it pan out for every second of this round? Because it only takes one second in a fight like this, as we've uh, seen with the uh, Kamaru and uh, Leon Edwards fight a couple weeks ago. It only takes one shot. That's it. It takes one moment of pulling your foot off the gas. Once again, great kick combo. Right upside to the head, to that side kick to the body, goes right back to inside low kick, body kick. Man, she's using that left leg like a jab. I'm a huge fan of that. Keeping the shoulders a lot tighter, too, which is preventing Calderon from getting those looping punches inside. Well, as I tell people, keep that guard in front of you, man. That's kind of like your, your sonar. Your guard a little bit is going to let you know where their punches are coming to. Let them hit your gloves, not your face, people. It gives you a read on where you need to keep feeding those legs back to. Haley really turning up with the kick exchanges. She is a little tricky, man. She can really hit you with a lot of different tools. Great, once again, that up kick to body kick. I'm a huge fan of that. Sends another kick home on the body, then goes up top, down the middle on the front kick on the head. Constant switch hitting, constant pressure from Lowry. It's all Lowry in this third round. She takes a big shot from Calderon. Calderon's only big shot. She needs another. Calderon needs to find another. She cannot. I think Haley Lowry won that two rounds to one. 100%, second and third were all Haley Lowry. Very, very impressive performance. Um, like I said earlier, take note of what will happen on that outside. I said seeing this matchup, Haley's outside kickbox was going to be super sharp, and it really helped her win this fight. Veteran savvy and great cornering, fight IQ, amazing technique, interesting switching of fight strategies in mid-fight. All of these were key ingredients to what I suspect to be a unanimous decision victory for Haley Lowry. Suspected as advertised, a crazy fight card here so far. 
a brief intermission coming up here at Conflict 53, Conflict 53 and then we will continue on to our main, main, main card featuring the Bone Saw, Wendy and Hudson, Amy Peduto, Anna Tool, Kayla Hennessy, and all the fight action Charleston could ever want. It's coming up shortly here at Conflict 53, so grab a beer and don't go too far.